Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Echo. Happy Saturday. Welcome back today to Learning to Code Minecraft Part 2. I did this last weekend and you guys seem to fully enjoy it, so we're doing a little more. I was actually surprised at how many of you have played this in your school. I'm incredibly jealous because when I was in school, all we had was a whiteboard. I'm also super surprised at how many of you are learning to code at a young age. I wish this was something I could do in school. Nonetheless, let's get into this. If you guys want to check it out for yourself, there's links down below. It's free, it's fun, and watching me fail is also fun. So today we're checking out the Minecraft Designer. We did this last week, which you guys can check out in description, which was getting Alex or Steve from A to B. The Minecraft Designer says program animals and other Minecraft creatures in your own version of Minecraft. So let's start this and let's see what this is all about. Now this video, if you haven't seen this video, I recommend watching it. It will kind of teach you how this is all about and also Jeb explains to you what it's about. So I recommend checking that out. So today, we have a chicken. We have a chicken. The chicken is frozen. Frozen. Place move and turn blocks in the when spawn slot to give it, to get it to move. I apologize, I'm, I'm not all there today. Click okay, all right. So basically, if you did miss this last week, when I hit run, we failed this by hitting run straight away. We need to do the coding in here. So this is coding simplified for people like me because I've never coded it in my life. Now it says use move forward and turn commands to get your chicken moving. So basically, chicken when spawned, well you guys know what a chicken does. It moves constantly, it poops out eggs, it makes the clucking sound. So you can literally do whatever you want to do. So. This one is really easy, it gets harder as it goes along, so we're gonna make it move forward. We're gonna make it turn left, we're gonna make it turn right, we're gonna make it play a sound, we're gonna make it play a sound. So basically, this is what my chicken is going to do. Now, let's reset this and let's run it. So we completed this one. Now I added a little bit of extra things that you didn't really need to add, so let's give it a nice little heart, let's continue. And let's move on to number two. Also, there's more explaining about how it works in, in terms of loops as well. Again, we did learn this last week in case you guys missed it. It says, great, the chicken moved, but then she stopped. In games, chickens walk forever. Use a forever do loop to keep these chickens moving. So basically, this is the, this is the chicken when spawned, and this is the forever do loop. So as you guys know, chickens constantly move. So let's make our chicken Constantly move. All right, so we're gonna make it constantly move. We're gonna make it turn. Let's just say left We're gonna make it turn right. We're gonna make it drop an egg We're gonna make it play a sound and then we're gonna make it not drop another egg and then we're gonna make it move Let's go turn right again. Okay, so this is what our chickens gonna do forever constantly Let's run it and let's see if we're successful. Oh It pooped out two eggs. Oh It pooped out two more so that's going to constantly happen. So in your Minecraft, that is constantly going to happen. Puzzle 2 complete, congratulations. Let's give it a nice little heart. And let's continue on to number 3. Now the chickens look weird moving the same way. Yeah, they're kind of like clones. It reminds me of the Minecraft story mode when they're all like zombies. Um, games use random moves to make things look real. Make the chickens turn random. So let's click OK. Now, last week it did give us the ability to show the coding. I don't know why it doesn't show the coding this week. So I apologize if you guys want to know what the coding looks like. And thank you all so much for explaining to me. There is no reason to have spaces in between coding. It's kind of just there to make things look cleaner. I really wish I could learn to code and maybe one day I'll code my own game. But anyway, forever do. Chicken when spawned, forever do. Turn random. So we want them to turn random. We want them to turn differently. Drop an egg. For example, play the chicken, wait random, move forward, drop an egg, let's do this. So as you guys can see, like in, in Minecraft, they're moving and they're pooping out way too many eggs here. There's always way too many eggs. If I see a chicken drop that many eggs, I would keep him forever. Okay, let's move on. These are the very, very basic ones. We we'll get into the more confusing things as time goes on. Minecraft Hour of Code events. Okay, well, I'm not watching these. You're welcome. Ooh, choose your character. Okay, so last week we picked Steve. So let's go Alex this week. Let's explore our world. Move with the arrows and press the space bar or tap the game board to use items. Use the door to get inside the house. Okay, this should be fun. So with this one, we're using our keys. 
which is going to be actually fun. I don't know if you could do this on tablet, but this would be fun. Okay, so we have to run this, and I believe we have to move forward. So you can literally move to wherever you need to move, which is really fun. Let's go inside of here, and... Okay, I'm hurting myself. And then space bar will open the door, and we did this one. I think this is just to teach you about the next stages that we're about to do. Puzzle 4 complete, congratulations. Okay, number five, we're flying through these. We might actually get all these done in today's video. In Minecraft, sheep drop wool. Place the drop blocks in when used, then walk over and use the sheep to drop an item. I'm confused here. In Minecraft, sheep drop wool. Place the drop wool in here. Look at this, actually it can drop multiple things. It could, we could make it drop a potato. Let's make it drop a potato. Uh, drop wool, block in when used. Sheep when used, drop wool, then walk over to the sheep to drop an item. I'm confused here. Should we try this? Ah, it does. Okay. I want to do this again. I'm going to reset this. Let's make it drop something else. Let's make it drop uh, a potato. Let's make it drop a potato. Here we go. <laughs> I, I, did, I, did we do it? Do we do it? I, okay, well, sheep don't drop potatoes, but I'm definitely taking that. I like that one. So we made it drop a potato. Number six. You can make it drop whatever you want to. It's your Minecraft. You're coding it. Do as you please. These cows are lost. Lead them to the grass with the move a step forward block in a forever do loop. Okay. Um, move a step forward. Let me just read this again. These cows are lost. Lead them to the grass. What grass? Oh, so they need to be here with a step forward block. Okay, this is confusing. When cows spawn, um, I don't want to move forward in the forever do loop. Hmm. Hold on. No, I'm confused here. I'm a little bit confused. When touched, I'm confused. These cows are lost. Lead into the grass with move a step forward block in a forever, move a step forward block in the forever do. Ah, okay. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm confused. Move a step forward. Wait. I've done this wrong. I've done this wrong. Hold up. It should be move a step forward in a forever do loop. Okay, I'm confused. I, I This is probably simpler than what I'm doing. Oh, I think I got it right. Oh, they follow me. Oh, okay. I got really confused at that. I made that seem so hard. I <laughs> God, Echo. Okay. I made that seem a lot harder than it needed to be. Forget me. For ignore me. The path to your sheep is blocked by a stone wall. Luckily, there is a creeper here. Creepers explode after you touch them. Get the creeper to explode the wall so you can reach the sheep. Okay, so... I need to... Run... Oh, okay, okay, I, I failed. Let's reset this. Okay, I just wanted to test this. So when the creeper is touched, it needs to follow you. So, um, where is it? When touched, flash, flash, it needs to follow you. Move a step towards, it needs to follow you. How do I make this follow you here? The path to your sheep is blocked by a stone wall. Luckily, there is a creeper here. Creepers explode after you touch them. Get the creeper to explode the wall. Uh, creepers explode when you touch them, so I need him to follow me. Um, creepers, when spawned, attack, I guess. I, I, I don't know. When touched, flash, flash, wait, explode. No, it needs to follow me. When used, hmm. I'm confused with this one. Oh, that's lava echo. I kill myself. So the creeper needs to follow me. Okay, that's reset. Reset. Forever do. Creeper needs to attack. 
explode, flash, drop gunpowder, of course. Um, no, we don't want to do the drop this. Play a sound, wait, explode. Okay, so creepers need to follow me. Move a sh creeper. No, I'm confused. Uh, what have I... I know you guys will be going crazy in the comments. I know this. I don't know what it is. I just can't get this my head around this one. Forever do. Wait, walk, move forward. Turn left, maybe? I can probably do it this way. Oh, I made it go in a, a loop. Um, turn random. Let's move this one. I think this is right. Why is he not following me? I need to get him to follow me. I don't know what it is. I, I, I'm, I'm terrible at this. I'm terrible. I know you guys are going to be going crazy. Don't hate me. I've done something wrong. I don't know what it is. When touched, move. When touched, move a step forward to the player. I think this might be right. I think this might be right. Hold up. Okay. Wait. Wait a second, unless that goes there. <gasps> when touched, right? Let me get rid of... Is this right? This might be right. Let's try this. I'm, I'm, I'm failing. I'm miserably failing here. Let's run this. I, I've got a feeling that this might be it. No, I can't do it. I don't know what it is. I just can't figure this one out, so I've had to skip it. I bet you it's really simple, and I want you guys to leave a comment down below on what I needed to do. I apologize, okay? I'm terrible. Moving on to the next one, though. Oh, no. Zombies have trapped you inside. Code the iron golem to chase and attack the zombies. Okay. So, iron golems when spawned. Move a step towards a zombie, which is going to be a forever do loop because they always walk towards zombies. So, forever do move towards... Um, a zombie, attack, and let's see what happens here. This isn't the same, but hey. I mean, it's attacking them. But it's not how it's meant to be, so I'm doing this wrong. I made that quite, I don't know what I did there, but I made that very confusing because, because he was attacking constantly. So I made that much more worse than it needed to be. Okay, forget that, forget the one I failed on. Let's move on. Now you can fill the world with what you want. Place spawn blocks under when run to spawn something when the game starts. Okay, so. Ren run, spawn in the middle, I guess. I'm guessing that's right. Yeah, is that meant to really happen? That was really kind of simple. Okay, then. Number nine, going on to number ten. Spawn. All right. Now you made the zombies. Use the spawn blocks to make three zombies when night falls. Get them to move towards you. Survive until morning. Okay. All right, then. When night, spawn zombies... Um, up, down, middle? I don't really understand what that means. When, zo when zombies spawned, I need to have a runaway. Is there a runaway one? When zombies spawn, I, okay, this will, uh, this is going to have to be a forever do one, isn't it? When night, forever do, spawn zombie. Yes, yeah, spawn zombie and move towards player. Let me just test this real quick. Let me test this real quick. Uh oh. Okay. I'm never gonna survive. <laughs> um, <laughs> I spawned way too many. Okay, look at how many zombies there are. I spawned way too many zombies. Okay, let's try this again, shall we? Um, zombie when spawned. 
Okay, well, maybe when night... Okay, I need to get rid of this one. Let's try this one, shall we? I think this might be right. Nope. 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 No, I'm dead. I'm dead. That's way too many. I'm spawning way too many. When touched... Wait, no, that's fine. When... Use flash disappear. This is way too many. I'm spawning way too many spawn zombie But this needs to be um, Random maybe I don't know It's daytime. I didn't survive There's no way I survived this they're, they're, I'm dead. Okay, I'm Alex and I'm dead Okay, so I think I've actually figured this one out So it wants me to spawn just three zombies to spawn three zombies when night spawns, they spawn randomly, so I have to set one spawn down, up, and left. And I've set this forever do, so when um, spawns, move a closer step to the player. So let's see this one. We have to survive until night time is over. So it's kind of it kind of reminds me of Pac-Man. This. Uh oh. Uh oh. That was close. That was a close. That was a close call. Uh oh. Come on. I've got to survive until nighttime is over. Surely we can do this. It's like Pac-Man all over again. <laughs> Come on, Echo, you got this. I believe. I believe. Okay, did we do it? Did we survive? Yes, we did it. Okay, I'm not quite a failure. I'm ending it there. Before I go any crazier, I'm going to end it there. I, I really don't know what it was with the creeper one. But I just could not figure it out at all. I need your help. Have a great day. If you want to check it out down below, you can. Have a great weekend. And I'll catch you next time.